Good morning, everybody. Day three of our quarantine. And again, today I am going to have um, my nephew, Mason, as a guest on my talk show. Um, sorry for the commotion back there. They're in the family room. And, you know, quarantine is definitely a time that is bringing us all together um, whether we like it or not so we are all in each other's space right now and um, figuratively or else we'd be be arrested <laughs> anyway like I said I was going to have my nephew on my show today my show all right this is pretty sweet <laughs> yep and we are calling it Boba tea and conversation. So we're actually trying a Thai tea today with creamy sugar and whatnot. And it's like an orange, I don't know if you can see that, orange consistency. Anyway. Boba um, and arguments. <laughs> Boba and arguments. <laughs> I guess that's the name of our new show. Um, no, it was a joke. <laughs> Anyhow, can you scoot over this way? I know we're supposed to socially distance, but we're two negatives over here. Do two negatives create a positive charge, Mason? <laughs> anyway. You might be a positive. Whatever. <laughs> Wait. Wait, no. That, like I said, I that's just... I just that's got bad, done. That's bad. That's bad. I just got done running. Negative ten. Two negative. Whatever. Tests make a <laughs> He's like two negative tests make a positive. I just got done running. I'm coming in to eat my breakfast, and this is what we're having. I like bacon. Hash browns, bacon, and eggs. And I like bacon. We're sitting next to the bacon king over here. Anyway. We decided that, well, I decided um, that we were going to have a conversation about women no, today. No, no. I just want to get your opinion on what cultures I'll rate the, the and Apache culture is one of them. So okay. let me tell you the story. Yesterday, as you know, day two of our quarantine was Mother's Day. I decided to go outside and help make bread on coals by a fire. Um, my sister made the dough. If you know me at all, I do not help in the kitchen whatsoever. Not saying I can't cook. I choose not to. Um, Five out of ten. <laughs> and so... Um, I decided for Mother's Day, I'll go help make bread outside. And so I went outside and my sister got like the hugest kick out of um, taking pictures and record. I don't know if she actually recorded me, but she was making jokes and saying like, Sandy, now I think you need to have your dance. And that basically <laughs> means that I've come of age and... I'm 38. Come on. So, huh? with that said, she sent a picture to one of the guys that she um, introduced me to. And um, it led to a conversation that basically he told me, come on, Sandy, you need to learn. Whoa, bless you. You need to learn how to... Um, Make bread. Making bread is something that in his culture, he's not from here, is viewed as giving a woman her worth. If they don't know how to make bread, they basically feel that the woman's useless. So that's where I'm bringing my nephew's opinion in as a 10 year old what he thinks about this because Apache culture is the same way if you don't know how to make bread if you can't butcher a cow you're looked at as you're kind of 
useless. What do you think about that? So basically how this is going is, is all kids are, are useless. <laughs> no, women, we're talking specifically about women. Men don't have to know how to make bread, although if they do, it's... What about tiny awesome. kids? What about kids? No, not kids. Okay. So, so only women are viewed as useless if they can't do that? Yep. In these cultures? Uh-huh. What do you think? Bread? Hmm. I'm not sure about the bread, but the butchering? Some people don't want to, um, well, see the insides of a cow. I don't want to. I was cursed with seeing a mutilated cow. <laughs> well, a torn apart cow. Yeah. Why was it torn apart? So that people could eat it? I, I just saw... A cow body cut open. I know I saw it happen. Really? I so. was cursed with seeing that. <laughs> Obviously. Was it what time was eight or nine? Are we vegetarians here? No. <laughs> uh, We're not vegetarians. Also, um, if you, I have a comment. Okay. If you're. If you're a vegetarian, a vegan, Kano my cousin Kanoa doesn't like you. Just because of that? He, and also, he has his reasons. If you're a vegan, because you don't want to hurt things, you can only be vegan by eating rocks and dirt. <laughs> because plants are still alive. <laughs> now, dirt is a good source of iron and other minerals. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna let's take talk my about leave. that shirt. Hey, let's talk about your shirt. Get back over here. So This is almost as long as our first episode of this show. So should we sing now then? No. <laughs> I really wanted your opinion on what you think. Do you think because a girl, a woman, can't make bread? I, I mean, it's culture, so I can't really say anything with, about that without being offensive. Oh my gosh. Well, as a woman, I think that being able to make bread or this being able to butcher a cow down. doesn't mean anything about my value. Okay, since you said it, I think the same thing. I got it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I basically had a, had a um i don't know if i was offended maybe i was offended um by what everyone always says i think it's maybe the same reason why i didn't want to learn my apache language um i do want to learn it now and maybe hearing this a second time from somebody who's not even a uh, white mountain apache um will make me want to perfect my bread making skills who knows maybe i'll do it this week um i think the the last time i sat by a fire um to make what we call bandatane my ex-husband used to call it donkey bread um, but it's a thicker bread that's on, uh, on a tennis racket that sits over the colds, um, was probably when I was a freshman or sophomore. I think 
it was for a funeral. Um, we were cooking for a funeral and back then I remember getting in trouble because I was removing the tennis racket from the colds and flipping the bread over and then putting my bread back in. So my aunties were like, you, that's not how you do it. And, um, you know, I was a stubborn kid. I still am stubborn. So I definitely yes, <laughs> don't add commentary if you're not going to sit over here. Um, I, I definitely did not want to... Somebody wanted to talk to Grandpa. Oh, I definitely I did not... I three disinfecting wipes on accident. <laughs> I definitely did not want to be told how to do something. And I definitely did not appreciate being criticized um, when I was trying. Same goes with Apache language. Um, when I tried to speak it I spoke it a little funny and so um, it was put in my face up and like front and center and um, because of it I really didn't want to want to learn and um, I understand and so there is this belief um, with some Apache speakers that, you know, if you understand, you should be able to speak it. Um, in my brain, I can hear how it sounds. I can, but when it comes from, you know, my brain to my, to my tongue, to my ears, it just doesn't sound right when I speak it. So I have asked, um, my ex-boyfriend to teach me um, some Apache. And so hopefully in the future, I will be able to um, speak in Apache um, fluently because, you know, I do understand it. And I, if I can hear it and understand it i definitely should be able to speak it um but we'll see how that goes um my guest obviously went to go play secretary and took off so we'll go ahead and end this here day three of our quarantine and um i don't know what video clip this is on but I probably will post this alone. Um, let me know what you think, what kind of cultures are out there um, that it's so instilled in us that we can't let it go. Because I, I honestly believe that, you know, I may not be the best bread maker. I may never, ever want to butcher a cow. I'm going to keep on eating burgers, but it shouldn't be the reason why someone thinks less of me. Um, you know, I'm definitely a hard worker and whatnot. So, um, who knows? Maybe this is just what, um, this gentleman said just to get me to start cooking being in the kitchen more and so we'll we'll see how it goes maybe we'll make bread sometime this week for you non-bread makers we will show you how to make dough for fry bread right here make sure you have bluebird flour though because without bluebird nothing works correctly on that note we'll talk to you later on bye